shutdowns can be a worst case scenario for manufacturers facing pressure to stay competitive. Factories of the future will be equipped with the latest hardware to avoid some of the most costly disruptions. Welcome to Factory Tomorrow, presented by DigiKey Electronics. Powered by Siemens, Schneider Electric, Phoenix Contact, and SupplyFrame. In this episode, we explore the predictive technologies modern factories are using to understand, identify, and address potential issues before they happen. We hear from the experts who are enabling this transformation with a combination of sensors, hardware, and leading AI software solutions to help prevent delays or shutdowns at any cost. For the last two years, there hasn't been enough supply to meet the demand of product. The amount of innovation that has come towards solutions for things like COVID and its second, third order effects has been tremendous. And frankly, we just got caught blindsided by the increase in demand. The impact of the supply chain, whether it's to metals or resins and materials, how it impacted labor, factories being shut down due to COVID quarantining, or even the physical process of shipping that product, either by ship or by air, has been disrupted. One disruption, man, it just magnifies itself. And so, um, you know, not being able to get the materials that you need to be able to produce, not having the labor you need to put things together to complete projects, those are all big challenges right now. On top of that, they're struggling with having enough workforce to complete the projects and, and the products that they need to produce. So this, these are all big challenges at the moment. Prior to Industry 3.0, manufacturing visibility was low, and issues on the factory floor were impossible to predict. So the evolution of Industry 4.0, specifically in the last five years, is that the theory of Industry 4.0 has gone from only theory to now practice. In other words, the products and solutions that were dreamed of in the concept of Industry 4.0 are now truly available. Their cost value equation has arrived and people are now able to use the promise of Industry 4.0 to make their businesses better. Digitization is the future. And no longer do we need to use traditional means that do, don't give us any visibility, don't, get us, don't give us any information. The, the need to run that equipment continuously becomes more and more important to the manufacturing enterprise. So as a part of that, predictive maintenance just falls right with that because you're able now with proper use of predictive maintenance be able to utilize that asset to its maximum but never pushing it beyond its capabilities before it needs maintenance and in all cases you can use that to schedule and arrange your downtime rather than have an, an unpredicted or interrupt onto your production. It's actually kind of the age of information, right? So uh, being able to see, get information about the, the load, about the motor, about the devices, um, about the voltage system, the supply that's coming into the equipment. And so that's really the, the excitement is um, not only can we more proactively monitor these things, now uh, we can actually engage our mobile devices and we can uh, get alerts to say, hey, you've got a problem here. Uh, you may want to go send out maintenance to go address a particular issue. Or if I just wanted to check the status and make sure something's running, I can do that from a mobile device. There's, there's really no stopping point. There's really plenty of places we can continue to advance and really drive some interesting automation and efficiency through this. So we see the next horizon for Industry 4.0 is simply shifting from building smart systems to building systems based on AI. Today, computer systems can collect data, organize it and present it properly. But in the future, those same systems will analyze that data and make actionable recommendations for improvements and management of the systems. It'll be a big challenge for AI to be integrated because we as operators and humans have to learn to work with that information and manage it. But it's what I see to be the next future of the Industry 4.0. You know, people ask, what's DigiKey's role in Industry 4.0? And, you know, very humbly, we say, you know, we don't change the world, but we'd like to think that we play a small part in fueling that innovation from our customers. And so you can count on us for a couple of things. You can count on us for that search and breadth of options. 
you know, where most designers start today, the world is changing so fast. The types of products they used on their previous design have already achieved a higher level of integration or higher level of functionality. So they come to DigiKey to learn what's available in that play space. You know, we used to think we'd come out with a generation platform and it would last for our multiple programs. That's no longer the case. With things moving so quickly, you know, you don't just match competitors and grow this way. You know, industries are, are continually leapfrogging. And to do that, you have to ask yourself, what would I like the system to do next that it's not already doing today? Because it's very likely that capability could exist with the technology and products that we offer. Today, technology allows us to be far more efficient and aware of every step in the process, taking us one step closer to the factories of tomorrow.